When I graduated high school, I went to a two-year college up in upstate New York, State University of New York, and was, I went for automotive technology. Graduated number two in my engineering division, got out, went to a dealership. In four years, I was the shop foreman. My father got into drag racing at age 17. Prior to that, he, at age 14, he won a gravity drags. If you know what gravity drags is, soapbox cars. He won that, and that started the bug for him. He ran every one of those national events, the U.S. National, which is the granddaddy of all drag racing. It's like the Daytona 500 for NASCAR and like in the Indy 500 for F1. That is, he ran every one of them during his lifetime. One of our cars has the name Iron Eagle on it. If you've ever seen the movie, Iron Eagle, that movie is about the son going out and saving the father who was crashed in a foreign country with a jet. And he went out to the jet and picked him up. I was always saving my dad so he could make that event every year at Nationals. In 1994, we were involved in a really bad accident, uh, and he was in the car. Very hard thing for me to think about. I thought he was dead. He walked away from it. We rebuilt that car from the ground up in about four hours with borrowed parts. So I put the physics books to work, changed the throttle stop. My father went out there. The tires are now three inches taller. That means your wheelie bars are three inches. The car lifts out of the lights, and I was like, he's going red. It was dead on. 19 thousandths from a perfect reaction time. Drove down the other end, and I said to my dad, if you get him on the starting line, lift in the lights, don't hit the brakes. He did what I told him. Teaching is helping others become better. And I tell these students here, when they graduate, you want to do something for me? In five years, come back and tell me how you're doing. If you're now an A-Tech in five years, or the shop foreman, or have your own business, you know how much pride I'll get from that? And they're like, okay. I said, well, I challenge you to do so.